welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So in this video, I want to show you a lightweight, multi-band, portable HF antenna, which works extremely well. Now, the main part of this antenna is a 49 to 1 transformer, encased in a nice waterproof housing. Now, connections are super simple. Simply connect your radio coax to the BNC connection and then connect 20 meters of wire onto the wing nut on the other end. Now with 20 meters of wire, you can expect nice resonance on 40 meters through to 10 meters without the use of an ATU. Without using an ATU, that means one less piece of equipment you need to carry if you're going to use this portable. Now power rating would be something in the region of 50 watts SSB, while CW and digital mode should be kept to around 20 watts. Of course, with this type of transformer design, you could use 40 meters of wire, which would then give you roughly 80 to 10 meters without an ATU. But for portable use, 40 to 10 would most certainly be sufficient. Now the wire that I'm gonna use in this video will be from Sota Beams, and it's their lightweight wire, which comes on a 100 meter reel for around nine pounds. I also use this same wire for my main home antenna, and so far it's lasted over two years up in the air, so I know it works quite well. Now the beauty of this wire alongside this 49 to one transformer is the overall weight is next to nothing, which is quite essential if you're backpacking up a mountain to activate it. The 49 to one transformer itself weighs just 2.8 ounces, which is around 80 grams. Now the wire weighs 3.3 grams per meter, so that's around 66 grams. So with the transformer and the antenna wire, that's just 146 grams for a full-blown HF multi-band antenna. Of course, you will need some coax feeder and there's plenty of lightweight options available. In this video though, I just used 10 meters of regular RG58 as my car was parked quite close to where I recorded this video. Now the radio that I'm going to use will be the Zygu G90. I absolutely love this little 20 watts radio. Now I'm powering this from a battery bank, which I purchased from Banggood. I'll talk more about that later in the video. So the coax feeder comes from the radio, goes along the ground and up to the transformer. As my coax has PL259, so I'm using an SO239 to BNC adapter to connect to the transformer. The wire then goes up this branch, roughly two to three meters, and then the remainder of the antenna wire is drawn out horizontally to another branch a few meters away. Now I'm sure the performance of this antenna would be even greater if I was to get the wire higher in the air, or even use a mast of some kind to create an inverted L. In a way, this is an inverted L, but the vertical section is only a couple of meters long. Mexico Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Radio Mexico Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Radio Quebec Six Mike Five Nine One Four Five. Radio Mexico Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Yeah, you're zero zero two zero zero two QSL. QSL, good luck. You are that hotel go seven tango. Mexico zero delta Quebec whiskey. Mexico zero delta kilo whiskey five nine. Yeah, delta Quebec whiskey, delta Quebec whiskey QSL. Mexico zero whiskey delta kilo you're five and nine Roger. No, delta queen whiskey, delta queen whiskey QSL. Delta Queen Whiskey, okay, Mexico Zero, Delta Queen Whiskey, 5 and 9. Yeah, you're also 5 and 9, 
test, secure Russian DX test, uh, Romeo 2, Yankee Alpha Alpha. Mike Zero, Delta Quebec Whiskey. Secure that. Mike Zero, Delta Quebec Whiskey. Mike Zero, Delta Quebec Whiskey, Roger. Yes, right, that's correct. You're 5959 QSL. Please again, uh, my number. Yeah, 0015. 15, Roger, thank you. You report 59, Bravo Radio. Yeah, thank you very much. 73, bye bye. Bye bye. Anyone outside of Europe there? I'm beaming in towards that area, uh, beaming to Europe. Is there any propagation to Asia? Uh, further east, there is there any propagation further east as this morning here on 10 meters? Papa Delta 2 Tango Whiskey, good afternoon, sir, into uh, the Netherlands. Looks like 5 and 5, 50 of 5. I'll copy, my friend. Delta Tango MW ITC coin CQ CQ 40 CQ CQ Mike Whiskey Zero India Delta Tango listening for any call anywhere Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey yeah, very good afternoon to you thank you for coming back to the call uh, I didn't get to, to look at the meter I'll have a look on the next over for you uh, name here is Ian India Alpha November Mike Zero Delta Quebec Yeah, very good afternoon to you. The name here is Matt, Mexico Alpha Tango. Uh, the name's Matt, Mexico Alpha Tango. Uh, your report, you're 59 plus 10, so 5910. And uh, I'm currently located in a small uh, village called Presswood in Buckinghamshire. And uh, I'm, I'm operating portable, uh, just testing a, a new quick deploy uh, HF multiband antenna. And uh, I'm only running 20 watts, uh, so I'm only running 20 watts. But uh, it's nice to work you for the first time. I don't believe that we've uh, we've worked before. Anyway, microphone back to you from Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. QSL Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey portable. Mike Whiskey Zero India Delta Tango. Yeah, very fine signal there, uh, Matt. Uh, sorry, I'm not sure what I said. Name is Ian India Alpha November. Yeah, fine signal. You come in about 58, or 59. My QTH, I'm on the south Wales coast, a uh, small Welsh town of Santwick Major. It's about 17 miles of the crow flies west of Cardiff there. Uh, and uh, picking you up on a uh, dipole, uh, it's not centre fed dipole, a Wyndham affair. Uh, it's up about 11 metres uh, above the ground and uh, coming back to you with about 200 watts from uh, Fox Tango 2000 from Yeasen. So, yeah, getting out very nicely, portable antenna there with 20 watts. Very impressive there, Matt. M0 DQW portable, MW0 IDT. So I think from these video clips, it just shows you don't need a lot of power or a massive antenna to make some decent contacts. Now, I'd feel quite happy with my butt parked on top of a mountain working stations with this setup. Of course, the power bank that I'm using is rather large to carry to the top of a mountain. So I'm sure there are other smaller alternatives like LiPo batteries, for example. Now, the power bank which I'm using, which I mentioned earlier, is something which I purchased from Banggood. The main reason for this model was that it has a 12 volt output with a rating for up to 15 amps, although personally I don't think I would run it that hard. The capacity is also advertised as 45 amp hour, yet again I wouldn't be so sure on this spec. However, as a test I left my G90 connected to this power bank for 12 hours on receive and the percentage went down from around 100 to around 89%. Also, I hadn't charged it before coming out to do this video, so I can safely say the capacity would most definitely last a day, if not more. Now, the 49 to 1 transformer also shown in this video was a prototype from Moonmaker here in the UK. Now, they are selling the production version for around £50, which also seems to be spec at 100 watts PEP. Now, if you're interested in this product, I'll leave a link down in the description below, along with a link to the power bank from Banggood. If any of you guys are into portable operations and you have another antenna type, which is multi-band or even if it's single band, then let me know what kind of experiences or what type of products you're using. I find portable work quite interesting. It's not something I've done much in the past, but as we're approaching into summer here in the UK, it's definitely something I'm going to be making the most of. Anyway, 
Until the next video, take care, stay safe, thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, just press the subscribe button, otherwise you're going to get rusty fingernails. Take care everyone, bye bye.